Master Hand is the white-gloved, laser-shooting, fist-pounding boss of the Super Smash Bros. games. It wasn't until the mega-selling Super Smash Bros. Melee was released nine years ago when Master Hand really got noticed for his five-fingered antics, which got a lot of Smashers thinking. What if you could play as Master Hand? Is it possible? According to a few sources, if you're on the character selection screen and hold B while timely pressing A twice using a controller in controller port 3, you can play the almighty hand. Just like the plethora of debunked secret button combinations to play as Toad, Little Mac, or our other favorite Nintendo characters, we took this code and expected nothing but a five-finger discount of our time. Let's get to the bottom of this. What makes this code a bit more unbelievable is the fact that it was released in November of 2008, seven years after Melee launched. Allegedly, some guy figured it out in less than an hour. Even if the code worked, why, with such a cult following of the game, would it have taken Smash players so long to come across it? And if it was so secret, how could someone discover it in less than an hour? Let's see if this code actually works. A controller needs to be connected to port 3, then access the character selection screen. You need to exit the selection screen at the exact time you pick a name in the entry field. Now, select your opponents and set your character as human, but do not select a character. Instead, clear all the names in your list except one. This will make it easier to click a name entry, as it'll pop up directly in line with your cursor when you click the empty box to enter a name. Now that we're set up, position your cursor on the blank box to enter a name. Press A and B at the same time. Continue holding B, but let go of A for a brief second, then press A again at the exact time the screen exits the character selection screen. If you press A too soon, you'll enter the name entry screen. If you press A too late, you'll exit out of the character selection screen. The whole process takes less than two seconds. If done correctly, the result apparently takes you to the level selection screen, where you select a level and then become Master Hand. That's all in theory, of course. After a number of tries, we actually managed to get the game to advance to the level selection screen. We picked an arena, and suddenly all of Master Hand's powers were at our fingertips, complete with all his movesets, which are strangely mapped to the D-pad instead of the control stick. Because it has no hitback, Master Hand cannot be beaten in stock matches. You can even use the finger flicker in event matches. However, be warned, the game has a tendency to freeze when Master Hand is in play. When the game advances without you selecting a character, it loads the first character ID in the programming code, which happens to be Master Hand. It can only be controlled through controller port 3, because whenever the gloved Goliath appears in the game, it reserves input 3. Credit must go to Xcord92, who discovered this amazing glitch, dubbed the Name Entry Glitch, who goes on to tell GT that he got bored with Melee one day, and after messing around for about a half an hour, he figured out that you could advance to the stage select screen without selecting a character. Give that man a hand. Wow! Incredible! <laughs> This game's winner is Master Hand.